Angostura bitters. Usually you use a dash or two in, in one cocktail, but today I'm gonna be using one full ounce in one drink. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But stay with me because this is what makes this cocktail really interesting and really tasty. So if you're ready, let's make the Trinidad Sour. The Trinidad Sour is not a classic cocktail. It was created in 2009 by Giuseppe Gonzalez while he was working at the famous cocktail bar Clover Club in Brooklyn, New York. It's a fairly well-known cocktail within the industry in New York, but I'm curious to see how far it reaches outside of the city. So if you've heard of it, let me know in the comments. The really interesting part about this cocktail is that it uses Angostura as the base spirit, or at least a split base. That's what I'm doing in my recipe today. Many of us might not know, but Angostura is actually almost 90 proof or 44.7% ABV to be exact. And Angostura bitters and bitters in general is what I want to touch on a little bit today. So exactly what are bitters? And the technical answer is, and I quote, bitters are an aromatic flavoring agent made from infusing roots, barks, fruit peels, seeds, spices, herbs, flowers, and botanicals in high proof alcohol. So why do we use them in cocktails? Well, bitters are to cocktails what seasoning is to food. They can be that missing piece to a cocktail that is flat or overly sweet, or they can be the bridge between two incompatible ingredients. They basically give a cocktail more complexity and depth. I just want to mention that this is one of my favorite bartending books, so I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. If you don't have it, you should go get it. Angster Bitters was created in 1824 by a German doctor by the name of Johann Gottlieb Benjamin Siegert while he was working as a military surgeon in the town of Angostura in Venezuela. Angostura is now known as Ciudad Bolivar. Around 1875, the production of his bitters were moved to Trinidad, which is an island off the coast of Venezuela, and to this day, Angostura bitters is still being produced there. For the ingredients, Angostura bitters, shocker, rye whiskey, Orjat, and Orjat is an almond syrup. I'll leave the recipe for that in the description below. And some fresh lemon juice. We're gonna start with three quarter rounds of Orjat. Three quarter rounds of fresh lemon juice. One ounce of Angostura bitters. And finally, one ounce of rye whiskey. Now, I'm just gonna get some ice for this. This cocktail, I'll be serving over a big ice cube, and usually when I serve over ice, I say you don't have to shake it for that long because it will keep diluting in the glass. However, there are so many intense flavors in this cocktail that I do wanna dilute it a little bit extra than I would in a normal case. All right, so here we go. Gonna double strain it. I'm gonna garnish it with an orange peel, even though Giuseppe Gonzalez says not to garnish it with anything. So before I taste this cocktail, I just wanna mention that the original recipe does not call for an orange peel, it's not served over ice, and the ratios are not the ones that I did today. Just in case Giuseppe's out there and watching and judging me right now. By the way, if you wanna check him out, there's a video on him talking about this cocktail. I'll post a link down below in the description. All right, let's give it a go. At first I thought it was gonna taste like a Bloody Mary because that's what it looks like. I mean, look at that color. It's dense and red, but trust me, it doesn't taste anything like a Bloody Mary. Initially, I get the um, the sweet and sour from the lemon and the orgeat, and then after that, it's baking spice all the way. You get cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, um, allspice, all of the above. If it was up to me, I wouldn't call this a Trinidad sour, I would call this a Christmas sour, but the name of the cocktail obviously comes from Angostura being made in Trinidad, so Trinidad sour. Smart, huh? If you feel like you learned something today, don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.